Hello everyone, welcome to 3dedesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we'll learn about the marking menu. So marking menu is one of the most important things that you can learn in Alias. It's a shortcut a menu, uh, <clears throat> a collection of shortcuts that is set by default, which you can modify too. However, this, uh, this will enable you to speed up the modeling process by quite a lot. So in other softwares like Photoshop and other modeling softwares, uh, with the, you'll, uh, you'll see, uh, you'll have a lot of people who use the shortcuts and that's gonna speed, it's gonna speed up the process by a whole lot. So it is critical that you learn how to use it and get fam uh, familiarize yourself with it. So uh, the marking menu is actually separated to main, three main categories. So in order to access the marking menu, all you have to do is control shift, click on the left mouse button. It's going to show you most of the pick functions. So uh, it will go clockwise. Um, so let's say I picked something like this and you want to unpick it. All you have to do is control shift, left mouse button and say pick nothing. And there's also pick CV. So let's say I turn, I have the CVs on like this. All you have to do is pick CV and grab it like this. And if you want to ungrab it, all, all you have to do is say pick nothing. Now uh, there are no curves here, so I'm just gonna create a curve like this. Okay. Now because of these are also CVs, you can pick CVs like this, and you can just move it like that too. So because this is a curve, you can pick it as a curve. So all you have to do is control shift to left mouse button, pick curve. And let's say there, were, let's say this curve was placed somewhere along here. And you, let's say you just wanted to pick the curve by itself. Instead of picking it as an object in which you will be able to click uh, uh, select everything, all you have to do is isolate it by saying pick curves you will just able to pick the curves without having to pick all the surfaces around it. Now, moving on, we'll go with Control Shift Love Mouse Button and Pick Object. Now, Pick Object, it, um, I believe that this uh, set of surfaces is grouped. So when you say Pick Object, it's gonna pick the group of surfaces in which it was. So let's say you want just to pick the headlamp right here. All you have to do is click a control shift on mouse button, pick object, and it'll just select the group of surfaces which is grouped. Same thing here. It's basically picking up all those uh, surfaces that are grouped. And I think here it's also selecting all the surfaces that's grouped. Now, if you just want to uh, select individual surface by itself, all you have to do is control shift left mouse button and here you can say pick surface. So right now you'll see uh, in the previous uh, pick object, we were able to pick it, but we were only able to pick it as a group. But let's, uh, if you select a pick surface like this, you'll be able to pick it just a surface by itself. Um, okay, I think the only thing left is only a critical uh, critical menu that we use often. It will be a peak carbon surface. So let's, uh, here I don't see a surface, uh, carbon surface here. So I'm just going to untrim one of the surfaces here. And you'll see that there's a bunch of blue lines, which you can see over here. So in order to pick the curve and surface, you cannot pick it as a curve. So even if you pick it as an object, you'll still uh, click the entire headlamp instead of just to pick uh, the curves and surface. So in order to pick this, all you have to do is control shift to left mouse button and pick curves like that and just drag over it. You'll be able to pick. Or if you just want to pick individual ones, all you have to do is click like that and you'll be able to select an individual curve and surface like that. So I'm just gonna trim them back. Now moving on, uh, we the second set of a marking menu, which you can access by Control Shift and Middle Mouse button. Most of it has to do with uh, moving and uh, moving transformation functions. So let's say you want to move an object. So I'm going to say I'm going to start by pick object. I'm going to click on the headlamp. 
And let's say you want to move it a little bit. All you have to do is control shift, middle mouse button and say move. And I'm just going to drag it a little bit forward like that. Now, let's say you want to move the pivot. Um, let's see. Let's say you want to place a sphere along this line. Actually, uh, yeah. Let's say you want to place a sphere along this line, but right now it's just floating in space. So if you poke, we'll pivot, and you want to stick it right here. Not, you don't want to merge it, but you want to stick the outer surface to this surface. What we'll I have to do is move pivot, move the pivot like this, and just say move, control shift to middle mouse button, and you can snap it like this. So right now, I mean, the bottom half is, is touching, but as you can see, the edge, the surface is touching right here. Okay, the third function, uh, the third function is scale. So let's say you want to scale this headlamp. All you have to do is right now, you have to be aware of where the pivot is. So right now the pivot is right here, but let's say you want to scale within this. So all you have to do is control shift, center pivot like this. So that it's a little bit more closer to where the surfaces are. And if you scale and drag your mouse like this, you are able to scale the object which you selected. Now, you can also do a rotation. So let's say you want to rotate this a little bit, same thing. Control shift, the middle mouse button, rotate, and depending on the axis that you want to rotate it. So let's say I want to rotate from the front view. I'm just going to click the left mouse button. It's going to rotate like this. And let's say you want to rotate it along this area. You can use the middle mouse button to rotate it a little bit like that. Now, another function is no proportional scale. So let's say you want to lengthen the entire vehicle. So what I'm going to do, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to copy this and hide it. So I'm going to press Control C, Control V, and I'll actually create a new layer and hide it, assign, and I'm just going to click this up, click this in order to hide it. And I'm just going to pick in the entire object and I'm going to group it by pressing Control G. Or you can also do it here, group. And let's say I want to lengthen the entire vehicle. So let's say I want to make it a little bit longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say no proportional scale, control shift middle mouse button, no proportional scale. I'm just going to drag it. I just want to lengthen it. So because we're in the side view, I'm just going to use the middle mouse button and just lengthen just a hair like this. Uh, function, uh, another function, query the history. Um, so this one we'll go over in later, but uh, that's also a very critical menu that we need to be aware of. Now, the third set of function, uh, the third set of marquee menu, you can access by control shift right mouse button, and it usually has to do with, uh, most of it has to do with the visualization. So let's say I want to shade this. So you can either do shade quality or shade fast. You'll see that it turned off. You'll, you'll see that the, uh, the color uh, color is a little bit different from before. Now the control is on. No, what this does is it control. Um, so there are CVs that is a, essentially a building block of surfaces and curves. So let's say you want to modify the surface. Right now I don't have any control points. So what you have to do is control shift to left mouse button, pick surface in order to actually pick the surface itself. And by uh, control shift mouse, uh, control shift to right mouse button, controls on, it's going to turn the CVs on. Now you can uh, achieve the same thing by going to control panel and you'll see that uh, the CV and hall is clicked on. You can use this, but it is much easier and faster to uh, access it within marquee menu. Okay, plain editor, we don't really use it often, so I'm just going to skip this. 
skip it. So uh, right now, if you just click on this and off, you'll be able to do an on and off function by itself. But in this, in the marking menu, if you, let's say you turn it on and you want to turn it back off, instead of pressing it again, you'll go on this side and say, Control Shift right mouse button and controls off. Now, uh, another menu within the visualization is a toggle grid. So depending on what you want to do, you might want to not see the grid itself. So what you can do is control shift right mouse button and turn the grid off. In order to turn it back on, all you have to do is control shift right mouse button, toggle grid, and it'll turn back on. Even in the side view, toggle grid off, toggle grid on. Now this one you might use a little bit more often. It's uh, the toggle model. So what that does is right now, well, let me turn the grid on. So right now you are able to see the wireframes and the building blocks, all the lines of the surface, the, sur the edges of the surface. But let's say you wanna just check the model by itself, just the shape itself. All you have to do is control shift, right mouse button and turn the toggle model. So now you're able to see. So, okay, so right now we are, the grid is visible. So I'm just gonna turn the grid off too. And you're able to see just the vehicle by itself without any lines, without any surface structure. And if you wanna turn it back on, all you have to do is toggle model, control shift right mouse button, click on it, and you're able to get your wireframe back. Now, another thing that you can do in order to get the turn the wireframe on and off is by pressing F12. So F pressing F12 on your keyboard, you're able to turn the model off and turn the model on. Now, the last thing, the information window. Uh, I went over this in the previous, uh, previous lesson. Um, so what you, basically it is a window that shows you all the information that is not all the information, but a lot of the information that the, uh, an object has. So if I just click on the surface like this, and I'm gonna say Control Shift, right mouse button, information window. So it's gonna show you information like transformation info, uh, pivot info, background box info, and surface geometry info, things like that. So this is critical. Uh, this becomes more important than when you want to set exact dimension and scale and things like that. So let's say this vehicle is way too big. So right now, if I pick it as an object, you'll see that the scale is not actually at one, but actually at 1.0199. So that is because when we are doing the um, second set of marking menus, I did a known proportion scale of the entire car. So if I want to, let's see, let's scale this up a little bit more. So I'm gonna say no proportional scale and I'm gonna press on the right, left mouse button in the 3D view like this and you'll see that the car is becoming longer and also this number is changing. So let's say I wanna revert it back to exact scale that it was before. All you have to do is just press one, uh, drag across it, press one, and enter and it'll go back to its original size. And let's say you want to move it a little bit along the X axis, all you have to do is, let's say you want to push it back a little bit. Just press 100 and press enter. Now let's say you want to move it a little bit forward. So I'm going to say just minus 100 and press enter. Oh, sometimes it uh, press enter doesn't really work. So all you have to do, in cases like this, all you have to do is click on different window and go back and do that again, minus 100 and enter like that. All right, um, so that concludes this lesson. Um, so it is, like I said in the beginning, marking menus are very critical for quick, very quickly, um, basically increasing your speed. So it is a very critical that you familiars yourself with the marking menu because it is going to help you a lot. And you don't you won't have to, you'll be able to access a lot of the functions 
without having to click on the palette or the control panel or the menu. Okay, this concludes this lesson and thank you for watching.